Hey everyone, I'm Shishi Ye here at the Beverly Center with the super fabulous Josie. Jo, you are the authority on all things fashion, editor-in-chief of Yahoo Style, taking time away from his busy schedule to participate in such a wonderful event. Why is it so important for you to do that? Oh, I mean, I think to me, when, when I heard first about this event, mm -hmm. it seems so monumental. I mean, for these couples to really champion for their love and to be able to like, you know, submit themselves on video and to come here and be chosen and to get married in Los Angeles. I mean, first of all, I love LA, right. you know, and the idea that this feels like their American dream, that they come here and you get to marry the person that they love yeah. because you can. Yeah. And I think that's what I love so much about this. And that, but for Beverly Center to be a part of this and to really be sort of the hosting sponsor behind it and get it all going is incredible. For me to be able to like inspire these couples today <laughs> to go shopping uh -huh. and look their absolute best on their biggest day ever. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's a great cause. I gotta be honest, looking at these 10 LGBT couples, right? They're so fashionable. I spotted a man bun. I'm seeing some cool sandals, some swag. Have you noticed that? Yes. Oh, I thought I was the only one checking them out, but you're checking them out too. Now, summertime is definitely wedding season, right? Yes. But what about attending an LGBT gay wedding? Do you have any words of wisdom for the guests? Never show up the brides or the grooms. That's what I always say. But that's like any wedding. So it's not even specific to an LBGT wedding. You're working on so many amazing projects. I think the last time I caught up with you was like back in 2012 oh, when we hosted the Asian American yeah. Heritage Month conference. I got to congratulate you on so many things. You're releasing a book this fall. That's yes. what fashion is. Tell us all about it. Um, it's really, that's what fashion is. It's sort of, I don't want to call it a memoir, but it's inspired by stories of my entire career of things I've done from filming The City to all my cover shoots and Vanity Fair and Elle magazine and working at Yahoo Style now, of course. But I think it's just an interesting thing. I mean, so many people write me on, on social media all the time and say, oh, I want to be you. How did you break into your business? How do you do what you do? And I want to sort of demystify that. I've always sort of thought that fashion was the thing that was interesting, but not unattainable. And I think when people realize that like I didn't get to where I got to by being perfect. I made a ton of mistakes. So you know what? I made those mistakes. I'm going to share them with you. And some things were fun. Uh -huh. Some things were funny. And some things were just like embarrassing. And I want to. <laughs> and I'm going to put it all out there. Not, you know what? And maybe if I made the mistakes, you can learn from my mistakes. You got some diehard Joe Z fans who are always asking you for words of wisdom. What can you share with them? Give them like three tips on how to break into fashion business nowadays. Oh gosh, three <laughs> tips on how to break into fashion. Um, I think be your true self. Like you have to be authentic. I can always tell when someone's trying to put on a persona or need to pretend they're somebody that they're not. And I think that usually doesn't work for me. And I think, you know, really go after what you love. Because, you know, when I started looking for jobs and applying for jobs, it was really about, like, not just applying everywhere. I really wanted to work at the place I respected and was inspired by, and that was important. So I always knew about everything I was going up to see someone. I've interviewed people before who had no idea why they were interviewing with me. And I thought, well, why are you here? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like you just want an interview. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think I think the other thing is also, you know, have a voice. Mm -hmm. You know, today when I started in this industry, there was no social media, there was no internet, there was no iPhones, there was no even computers. I was on typewriters. Today, everybody, doesn't matter how old you are, what you're doing, you have the ability to have a voice and create a persona. Mm -hmm. So get out there, start social media and start to have a voice.